Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, I'm coming on today to talk about my favorite products of 2016. Um, it's been a long year, it's been a happy year. This is like my second year, so I guess year one to two natural. So it's kind of where I went from really not having no any hair to kind of okay, I have a little bit of hair. So, you know, it's been an eventful year for me in my team natural journey. And it's been an eventful year with products. I, I went from having a whole bunch of like products I didn't really like to having mostly HGs and stuff I like in my stash. So things have been good. So let me just get right into it. I'm going to go in order of my wash day, um, starting from detangling, cleansing, deep conditioning, any treatments I'm doing, leave-in, oil, if I do a cream, and then my gel and my refresher spray. So. Let's get started. <laughs> I've been using DIY oil, my DIY oil mix, um, and my DIY conditioner lately. I may just do a video showing you like my DIY conditioner, but I have a staple drugstore conditioner on deck just in case I don't happen to have a batch of my DIY. So that one is the perfectly, Tresemme perfectly undone. So it's not my favorite. I do prefer the original Tresemme Naturals, but the, bo the botanic is not it's kind of too heavy. I like this. This is a little bit lighter. So, you know, I think I guess it's the best dress to me right now. So while I was still testing out rinse outs, I did get some VO5s that were really nice. And I may kind of, they may be in here next year, but you know, for now, DIY oil, DIY conditioner, dress to me if I run out of DIY. So, <laughs> on to the good stuff. Um, my favorite detangler is still my day one original detangler, which is this Kinky Curly Not Today. So, I haven't heard much about Kinky Curly from everybody. I guess people are like, this is like old news, but this still works great for me. And it works better than a lot of the things that people say they've been using to detangle. So, I don't have to use it often. In fact, I probably haven't used it in like six months or something, because I only need this much help when I get like lint in my hair or something. For the most part, I get enough slip with like conditioner and oil to be able to get out my tangles. So yeah, once I'm done detangling, it's time to cleanse. And I'm kind of like a cleanse connoisseur, you know, like worse for snow in Alaska. I'm like, how dirty does my hair feel today? That kind of thing. And I have like different levels of clean for like different levels of dirty. So my favorite one, my favorite co-wash, as you know, <laughs> is this caramel co-wash from Camille Rose Naturals. It's very moisturizing, lots of slip, very cleansing and very defining. This is like the perfect balance of cleansing and conditioning for me. It really doesn't get better. So this is like the perfect one. So, but it's only available online, so it's kind of a pain to get. Um, but I do have a few in stock to get me through at least some of the year. Couldn't go crazy because it's like $14, but I do have some. So, I just want to mention also this blueberry co-wash conditioner from She Scented. So, I really like this. It's a little bit more cleansing than, and less conditioning than the Camille Rose Caramel Co-wash. But I like this because it doesn't strip my hair and it's easy to spread as well, so a little bit goes a long way. So, this goes further than the Camille Rose Co-wash for me because I just put it on my roots and then kind of spread it down through my strands. So... Next, if I want a little bit more clean, I get into like my moisturizing shampoos and my favorite <laughs> moisturizing shampoo, of course, is this Blue Rose Beauty Cocoa Creamy Shampoo. So, I mean really, if you guys haven't tried this, you're really missing out and it's your fault because I've been telling you. So, I'm just going to laugh at you when you finally try it and say like, why haven't I been trying this? It's totally your fault. This is moisturizing. Doesn't strip your hair, sudsing, defining, has lots of slip, you can detangle with it, it's really great. So this again, I put on my roots and just kind of spread through. The Camille Rose Caramel Co-Wash, I put like, I can put like all the way through. One, because it, I guess it doesn't spread as much, and two, because it's like, it just loves your strands. Like, you don't have to worry about your hair getting dry at all. So after my hair is nice and cleansed, the next step is deep conditioning. So... Pretty much all the products that I'm mentioning here, if I didn't like want to run out of the bathroom screaming, oh my god, this is so awesome, it's not on this list. This is like the stuff that I used it and I was like, oh my god, wow, I have to like go 
tell somebody about it, post on Instagram, post on Facebook. Oh my God, wow, I love it, I love it. Oh my God, wow. If I haven't said it like 10 times when I used it, it's not here. So, my, you know my deep conditioner story. My favorite deep conditioner at the moment, I think, is this she scented um, rich moisture mask. It's very light, but it's very hydrating and very penetrating. Like this moisturizes my hair. So like, as soon as I put it on, my hair feels hydrated, moisturized. There's lots of slip, very spreadable, very easy to work with because my strands don't really like to share with each other. So I need stuff that spreads easily. So this is the truth. You don't have to really sit for like half an hour to see results immediately. It's like, it's doing something. So like letting it work in for like half an hour, whatever, it's just like ice cream on the cake because it's amazing. And my second favorite <laughs> deep conditioner for the year, I don't want to name like everything, but I have to name the ones that made me scream, right? Right. So, Afrotastic Curl Elastic from Sultanicals. When I used this, I was like, yes, because I had just clarified my hair. I guess I didn't mention my clarifying shampoos, but I haven't really found the one yet. But I've been using Giovanni Tea Tree Shampoo, so I just clarified with that. And I put this on, I was like, oh, you know, because, you know, you just clarify, it's like your hair's dry, your fingers can't go through and you're like that. So you're like putting on something and just like, uh, but like this went on and I felt like if I had co-washed before or something, like it just got me right back up to my moisture levels. And the slip was there, it was really easy to work with. And the biggest kicker for me with my thick hair is that I had a lot left over. So little goes a long way with this you know which i can't really say for the she scented this goes further than the she scented so this is my second hg deep conditioner and i want to just mention my treatments so i don't do these often but the protein i do like every six weeks and the tea i do when i feel like you know i might be getting a little more shedding and i want to get the shedding down so the protein treatment that i love is the she scented okra reconstructor <laughs> Um, I've been talking products a lot, but I really wanted to come on and show you my, my stuff for the year because I know you haven't seen every single thing here. So the Okra Reconstructor is really great. I can really tell the difference when I've used it. It does strengthen my hair. It does kind of add a little more oomph and like tightness to my curls, which I love. I don't like my curls to be shabby looking. I must be, I might be the only person, but I actually like my curls to look like, you know, alive, tight and alive. So. I use that for this, this for that, <laughs> and it really works. And it's moisturizing and conditioning as well. So you don't have to feel like you have to deep condition after. I always deep condition after protein treatment just on principle, but you strictly, you can get away without doing it with this. And the chai hair tea, which I mentioned in my Black Friday haul, I believe, really, really great for reducing shedding. Your shedding just drops dramatically. So anybody with an issue with shedding, you should definitely pick this up and sad news she's discontinuing it so and she has a sale on right now so definitely get it on this you're welcome you're welcome so after my treatments after i decondition my hair and do whatever treatments i'm doing i get to my leave-in conditioners and the, the leave-in that made me really happy this year was the she scented cocoa cream leave-in so I had been using the um, She Said a Cranberry Cream Cocktail. So this was my first time this year trying this. And I loved it. It was just as moisturizing, defining, and awesome as the Cranberry Cocktail. But it was just like richer and creamier in my hair. So, you know. And it's, it's still light and spreadable and everything like that. Like all the things I look for. But it was a little bit creamier. So I like the luxury of being able to use creamy stuff because usually I can't. Like usually creamy stuff is too heavy and just sits on my hair. But if you have fine strands or ultra low porosity and you like the creamy feel but you want it to penetrate, overall like she said it is in line for you and this is the leave-in for you. So that was like the best. Um, so also the list is leave-in. This one has been really good. This one I, I think is going to be one of my staples. It's definitely on my HG list. Again, you know, moisturizing, defining, spreadable, lots of slip, and just great ingredients. Like, they all have great ingredients. So, if you can, it's Baskin Bloom now. So, if you're looking for, like, a brand to try and kind of end-to-end, can't go wrong, I think I would recommend definitely Baskin Bloom or She Scented. 
those are some really good lines I think just based on what I've been seeing and the feedback from my friends and stuff so the other leave-in that made me really happy this year the Camille Rose leave-in collection the latte so like I haven't used it by itself yet I guess that's why I didn't want to call it first but it just felt so rich and creamy like I said going on and I'm just glad to be able to get that experience rich creamy moisturizing and defining it has pectin infused water first and it has antum gum so those are two defining ingredients and it's super moisturizing as well so I'm looking forward to trying this by itself and I'm gonna do a wash and go with this and then post it up for you guys I know I'm going into leave-ins a lot but it's a long year <laughs> so I have more <laughs> So the Sotanicals Slip and Slide Nut Proof Hair Glide, this is kind of when I realized that I could actually make Sotanicals work for me because I wasn't a fan of the nut salt even though everybody raved about it. It just didn't have slip on my hair and I wasn't a fan of the mango dip slip because that has slip but it just sat on my hair so I was like, oh am I going to find a Sotanicals leave-in and then she talked about this one being like the baby of the two, like the best of both worlds and I was like, okay, I'm going to try it tried it and it was exactly what she said moisturizing, defining, rich and creamy, wet slip just perfect so I have an HD leave-in from Sotanicals now so, so I'm really happy with Sotanicals right now and I'm trying one of their butters this year, so I might be expanding my Sotanicals um, usage even more in 2017. One honorary mention for the leave-ins, I don't have it with me, was the Shea Moisture JBCO Styling Lotion or Style Setting Lotion, something like that. That was also really good and that was also a pleasant surprise because I was like, eh, you know. But that's on my top Shea Moisture, like I have to do a video on my favorite Shea Moisture products because that one is actually on my top Shea Moisture. That's the Shea Moisture that can hang. That product can hang with everything else here. So I was like, okay, you know. So I also bought the leave-in um, Shea Moisture JBC or leave-in to try. But I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to be trying it in 2017. But the style setting lotion is really good as a leave-in. It doesn't leave your hair hard or crunchy or anything like that. And, you know, it didn't have any negative effects on my hair. So definitely... If you're looking for something convenient in drugstore to try, that would be my pick. Um, after leave-ins, finally done with leave-ins. <laughs> after leave-ins, I get into like my um, butters and creams. So these tend to last a really long time because I just use like a little bit in my fingertip and put it on. Like you see how heavy-handed I am with leave-ins, just again trying to get it spread. So by the time I get to like, do I want to put a cream? My hair is already like, you know, pretty good honestly, but. I've been kind of dabbling with, with creams and butters, just trying to see if it maybe helps me retain moisture longer or adds any softness or, you know, like if it does anything for me. So, the Camille Rose Curl In Moisture Butter, this is one of my first butters that I tried, but I really love it. It's not too heavy, it's actually light enough for me to use as a, a refresher, which I can say for a lot of products. Most products, I can't put it on my hair dry, it's not going to penetrate at all, but this actually penetrates my hair dry. And it also works really nicely over a leave-in. It's very moisturizing and has a lot of slip and so on. So I'm really still looking for butters and I have a whole bunch of new butters and stuff to try. But for 2016, I'm going to put this on the list. The other one that I really enjoy, I don't have it here because I finished it, was the Jane Carter Curl Defining Cream. So I know she has a lot of stuff with similar names, but this is the Curl Defining Cream. I really like that one. It was really moisturizing, wasn't too heavy. And it was defining, so that one I definitely recommend if you're looking for a nice cream styler, if you're a cream styler gal, or if you just want to use it in your LCO lock method. Jane Carter Curl Defining Cream was also really nice this year. It was like, you know, it was like a faithful, it always did me right. So let me put it that way. The other one that I really love, again more into styling cream, is this Blue, Blue Rose Beauty Marshmallow Cream Gel. So this just made my hair so plump and juicy and moisturized. I really loved it. I was really, you know, I had that happy feeling that I talked about after using it. So it says defines, curl and curls and reduces frizz and it definitely does that. So if you're looking for a cream gel, if you're one of those people who don't like like typical gels, I mean I don't like typical gels, I use like custards, but if you're looking for a cream gel or a cream styler, definitely pick this up. You are welcome. You will love it. I promise you, you will love it. So, yeah, 
So that's it for cream gels and butters and stuff. But if you watch this video in a year, I'm going to probably have a whole new different pile in there because I have so many to try. So my next section is oils. I don't really use a lot of oils. Um, no, I'm lying. I use oils, but I don't use store-bought oils. I like to use, like, buy a whole bunch of pure, um, cold-pressed, unrefined, unprocessed oils and mix them myself. But I have a kind of oil I wanted to throw in here, which is the Camuro's um, Herbal Tea Seal and Soften. So this isn't really an oil. It's like a cross between an oil and a leave-in. So it doesn't feel... Let me, let me, let me, let me know. It feels like an oil, but like a very light oil. You know, it doesn't feel like one of the heavy oils, but it smells amazing. Mm. 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 It smells amazing. I love the smell and it really does seal and soften and add shine and reduces frizz and everything like that. So definitely if you're looking for an oil, if you're looking for like a leave-in collection, you can't go wrong with the Camuro's um, leave-in collection because it's like $30, 9 ounce products and they're all awesome. So. That's the one oil I've been using this year and I've been loving it. You see how low this is? This is low for me <laughs> compared to everything else. And I got it, I think, pretty late in the year. So I've been hitting this. Yeah. So after the oils, I go into the custards and gels. So you know, for the most part, I DIY. Like I said, my DIY in my hair right now. Um, I think, what am I on? It's close to wash day. So, you know, this is me with kind of the bigger hair. But, you know, I mostly be a while, but I like to have some gels for when I'm feeling lazy or when I just haven't gotten to a new batch. And for that, my favorite is the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker. So this one, this was like the first real gel. Did I use Nico Style over I probably would use Nico Style in my hair. But this is the first gel that I love. And I've been raving about this practically since I went natural. So I've been using this since my hair was like, you know, much shorter um, for over a year. And I still love it. If you check me out on Instagram, my hair is just so soft. Like that's the thing that looked like it's soft and it's moisturized the whole day. You know, sometimes you use other things and you have to like spray it all over and really work in moisture like every other day or something. This keeps my hair moisturized all week. I'm like, do you want to moisturize the hair? Cause you, I really don't have to. And my hair just feels so soft to the touch and everything, which I love. You know, so definitely get this. I know people say it's pricey, but I do think a little goes a long way. Not as much as the next product I'm going to show you, but you know, it's not like you're going to use the whole thing in one sitting, you know, because I have a lot of hair and I'm heavy handed and I will still only use like a quarter to a third of this in one go. And I use a lot of products. So the average person probably get like five uses out of that, you know. And I know it's not as cheap as Eco Styler, but for me, Eco Styler just makes my hair look dry and dull and feels icky and horrible. So if you want that kind of feeling, sure, go pay $5 and get Eco Styler for the whole year. <laughs> but that's not it for me. I'd rather make my own than feel like that. So, or buy something like this and I'd actually have hair that I love touching and that feels like hair. I don't like my hair to feel like, what is it? Like bricks, crunch, even cardboard. Because to me, after you scrunch the crunch, it just feels like rubber or cardboard. I like my hair to feel like hair, like soft, touchable hair that you just can't get enough of, you know? So that's why I use like Kaby Rose Curl Maker and Uncle Funky and Kinky Curly. So the Kinky Curly actually made my list because to me this is my second favorite after the Camille Rose Curl Maker. I'm not sure why I haven't been hearing a lot about this lately. I don't know, people have just kind of moved on. I guess she hasn't been doing a lot of marketing. I wasn't really a fan of the way she did her ads anyway. So hopefully if she does come back, she'll be a little bit more inclusive with her ads. But um this product is a really good product as well, and a little bit goes a long way. Like this little thing lasts as long for me as the big Camilo's. Um, this is like 8 ounces and the Camilo's is like 12 ounces. But they both last the same time if this doesn't even last longer. Like a little bit goes a long way. So what I say is this really clumps my curls really, but a little bit of this product really clumps my curls really well. So I don't need a lot to get the effect, you know. Yeah. So that's pretty much it except for my refresher spray. <laughs> I love this Sultanicals Hair Sorrow Refresher Spray. So, I mean it says King Drink. I don't know if it says what purpose it's for, but it smells really great. Really nourishes my hair. Really controls frizz as it dries. Did I mention it smells really great? I'm from the Caribbean, so I love smelling Sorrow. Mm. 
you know. Um, and I guess it has a lot of like hibiscus in there, so that's really good for defining your curls as well. Aloe vera juice, which is good for moisture, lavender water, ginger. I mean, this is like a really great product for your hair, just in general, and it really does the trick for refreshing your hair. And it gives you a lot of shine and everything. And it doesn't have any glycerin, so I could use this um, year round, which I also love. So, and it has a nice spray, like it's not too light and it's not too heavy. Like I like a good enough spray when I'm kind of refreshing my hair, multi-day refresh. Because pretty much all I do is spritz my hair when we apply product. So I like to have a good spray, not too light, but not too heavy. And this is perfect for that. I can spray it on without having wet hair, but it's not like so light that nothing happened. So, that was it. That was my 2016 Happy Dance year of wonderful products. And as much as I love these products, I'm pretty sure it's going to be at least one or two changes in 2017. But it was really fun to kind of look through the year and just see what I liked and what worked for me. So I hope you have fun seeing this. And I promise I'm going to do some more in-depth reviews where I can actually like, kind of like open products and, you know, let you see the texture and stuff like that and do some more demos and stuff like that. So that's coming up soon. So subscribe to, you know, hear more and see more and be the first to know about like what's been working for me. And you know, I also want to talk about other things as well. I do want to do my little hair school thing because a lot of people don't really know enough about natural hair. They kind of, you know, going by what's out there, but I want to put some more actual factual information out there. So look out for that as well. <laughs> and also let me know what products you used in 2016. Like what am I missing here that was like really super duper great. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one and happy new year. All the best for the new year like we say in Trinidad. And enjoy your New Year's Eve or oh, yes, night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>